finally time. We're done ReZero Season 1. Now the floodgates have opened to farm ReZero Season 1 videos before Season 2 where this is called ReZero and 8 minutes by Mr. Gigak himself. A small anime reaction, sorry, an anime channel with 3.6 million subs. Let's see what he has to say. Looks like this is just another boring day for Natsuki Subaru. Nothing ever exciting happens. Oh my god, I just got transported to a fantasy world and I'm not even- Yo, who's voice acting right now? Because I know this isn't Gigak. Wait, 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 who's voice acting this? Looks like this is just another boring day for Natsuki Subaru. Nothing ever exciting happens. Oh my god! I just got trans- Is this Gigok? I- There's no way this is Gigok. There's no way, bro. Born into a fantasy world and I'm not even gonna question it! This is amazing! I'm gonna have the greatest time ever! Ever! <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole anime is just suffering, right? It's just over and over. Suffering, suffering. Oh my god, they have Irishmen here! Buy this fucking apple! Oh my god, they have- <laughs> Irishmen? Is the Appa guy supposed to be like a stereotypical Irishman? Get apple! Oh my god, they have naked furries here! Slapped. Oh my god, they have generic thugs about to beat me up here! Give us your yep. fucking money! That's Fuck. Gigug. That's Gigug. That's Gigug. He's voice acting the bandit! It's about to beat me up here! Give us your fucking money! Yeah. Fuck! Main love interest incoming! Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm in love with you. Uh, what? We literally just met five minutes ago. We just talked about this during the final analysis of season one finale. And hey, remember, 17-year-old kid, stupid, horny, neat, has no understanding, right? Simply sees hot girl, save him. I think it actually does make sense on how he, quote-unquote, fell in love. Like, Will you be my waifu? What the hell is a waifu? Shh, it's already done. I'm looking for my insignia. I think I saw it here. Oh god, I'm dead. Buy this fucking apple! Did I just not die when I got killed? That's... Yes, and I think, again, it's just like... <laughs> did I just not die when I got killed? He was in shock, so I guess like this front, I forgave it. I was like, you know what? Alright, you're in shock. It's a new world, sure. First iteration, fine. But the second time, I swear to God, if you don't figure this shit out. Killed? That's strange. I've never met you before, but I feel I have. Do you forget that feeling of deja vu? Shut up, Tracer. Oh God, I'm dead! Why this fucking app? Shut up, Tracer? Bull. Okay, I keep dying and Overwatch waking up in means? front of this guy. So that means... Uh -huh. yes. That I have the ability to... Yeah, you're getting closer. Who? Yes! <gasps> Nope, still can't figure it out. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can return to a very specific point in time every time you die. <gasps> I've seen some people actually defend Subaru of how the second time he died and didn't realize actually made sense. And I think you're reaching at that point, bro. <gasps> I can return to a very specific point in time every time I die. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Mr. Save Point Guy. Actually, my name is Mr. Save Point Guy. I'm trading the insignia for this phone. Who the hell uses flip phones anymore? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. How would he know he was a flip phone? My immersion is ruined. Shut the fuck up. You can have the insignia over my dead sexy body. She okay. is pretty sexy, you know. Shut she up, is. boner. Now's not the time. Well, it's a good thing I've got a swordsman. Woo! You were a swordsman, not a suicide bomber. What's the difference? Mark my words. You'll definitely see me again. And we'll never see her again. Not in season one. I Hopefully she shows up later on. But uh, we've seen the other openings, right? We, Elsa did show up. So again, like this is a moment where it, I, I have no clue how the fuck she survived. But I'm sure that's going to be some spoilers of who she actually is. Or what kind of different powers or blessings or who knows what she has. But glad that she got away. Reinhardt was fucking peak. This episode three, bro, it hooked me so hard. This was peak power fantasy. I mean, episode one already got me immersed enough. But I didn't have that like... Well, the fight between Elsa and Felt, right? That was pretty hype, but this was just like solidified. It was like power fantasy moment. And you know what's funny? Reinhardt also never came back. This dude peaked in episode three. And after that, he shows up here and there, but he never actually helps. Because characters like this, again, you can't just get bailed out by them over and over. It's just one of the most infuriating things. It's like, we need Reinhardt, but he's never there when we need him. Swordsman, not a suicide bomber. What's the difference? Mark my words, you'll definitely see me again. And we'll never see her Bye -bye. again. Your twins who everyone thought were lesbians at first. Yes, we're so in sync. We can even finish each other's banana. What? Damn it, Rem. So what's the real difference between the two of you? Nobody really gives a shit about me. No, everyone loves Ram. Ram is... Everyone loves Rem more. That's true. Rem does have bigger titties as well. Rem's better at laundry, cooking, cleaning, all the maid services. Only because Rem was a prodigy when she still had her horn. 
and Rem wanted to be better than Rem at some things. Therefore, Rem had an early start on this laundry shit. And Ram wants Rem to feel special, therefore Ram glazes, and it looks like Ram is quote unquote taking Rem's credit, saying, "Look how amazing this was done," even though Rem did it. But if you read the fuck, if you watch the you know backstory, it makes sense. Let me be your butler, please, please, please. You can if you take a bath with the creepy looking pale guy who owns this mansion. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's the best part. That should have been the most highlighted part, bro. Michael Jackson, Roswell. Mansion. <laughs> no damn. deal. Well, this doesn't seem so bad. I can get used to being a butler. Oh God, why are you killing me? Because you smell like shit. Is that really a reason to kill someone? Yes. Because <laughs> he did smell like shit. Is that really a reason to kill someone? <laughs> At that part, who killed Subaru? Remember, this was not Rem, right? Ram killed Subaru here after saying, Ram said, my sister is too kind. Ram was not able to face Subaru directly in this run. Wind magic from the side of the forest came and cut his throat. A reason to kill someone! <laughs> hey, okay. You look like you've seen a ghost. Or a fucking psychopath, apparently. Do you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Deja vu. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Tracer. That's why you said Tracer. <laughs> No, I never get that fucking feeling of deja vu. But you're acting like never. There's a curse, and we need to find the source. Will this affect cool. Amelia? Look, you need to calm down with this Amelia obsession. If I said Amelia told you to jump off a cliff, would you? Amelia! Yes. I found the curse. It was it was the dog all along. I Dude, it was the dog all along. The bald dog, bro. Who would have fucking knew? It was the cute little thing, but that's the only thing that was consistent throughout the timeline. Dog all along. I I don't get it either. Rem? Mm-hmm. Smash. Rem smash! Rem smash. You're cool now, yeah? Are you kidding me? You killed me multiple times, like pretty fucking horribly. People yep. don't just forget that. But I want your dick now. Yeah, we cool. Subaru. I want Well, it's more than that, right? Because like People actually use this talking point when they justify um, why Subaru rejected Rem. They say that, don't you remember when Rem tortured Subaru? Yeah, I do. There was a very justified reason. It's beyond just the stench. It was a stench of the witch, the people that killed her entire fucking Oni clan, right? There's a good reason the suspicion was there. Was it overdone? Absolutely. And then what did she do? After Subaru gets fucked up by the witch fiend, gets cursed, Rem goes out to sacrifice herself, puts her own life in danger, thinking, I need to save this guy. If you don't think that act, and then even beyond that in arc three, all the sacrifices she made, if you don't think that somehow balances or even trumps what Rem did in episode seven, I think that you just have a bias. Me fucking horribly. People don't just forget that. But I want your dick now. Yeah, we cool. Subaru, I'm about to go to a real- That was a very good, honestly, summary here. I want your dick now, we cool. Because like, she fell in love. My hero. Subaru, dense as fuck. I only love Amelia. Subaru, I'm about to go to a really big event full of very important people. Got it. Really big event, important people. Yes. So whatever you do, don't Stay come home. inside and do don't anything you up. can to not embarrass me. Got it? Got it. Uh -oh. Whatever I do, come inside and do anything I can to embarrass you. No! What? That's the complete opposite of what I said! Hey, 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 fuck faces! Which one of you cocksuckers has been shit talking my wife? I love how he always does his dumbass pose, bro. Always fucking pointing his finger out, hip to the side. Ask you, Subaru! My wife, from Amelia! Oh, for fuck's sake! Silence! Royal candidates, introduce yourselves! I'm the cute one! I'm the cool one! I'm hot as shit! But I'm also a massive cunt! I don't even- <laughs> Are they wrong? <laughs> also, we're gonna get a limited ad for that. If that word specifically will trigger a fucking limited ad, so we need to go through a fucking manual review. Honestly, it probably won't even pass the review, so I might have to fucking figure something else out. You know what I'm doing here? I don't like Amelia. How dare you not like Amelia, you fuzzy blue eyebrow fuck! What did he just say about my eyebrow? Fuzzy blue- This guy's eyebrows were so aggressive. Brows. Look, if you all don't understand the greatness that is Amelia, Stop. you can just stand there and listen to my top 100 reasons why Amelia is a great gal. Stop. Number 100, she has white hair. Where to God, yeah. once this ends, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Amelia, 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 if you're so bloody obsessed with her, why don't you just marry her already? Maybe okay. I will. I did not agree to that. Yes, you did. Enough of this farce. Please. You're blatantly white knighting this girl in front of literally hundreds of white knights. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You are literally white knighting in front of a hundred actual white knights. You make the white knights look like non-white knights. Well, 
your face is a white knight. Booyah! What? What are you gonna do? Take me outside and teach me? Yes. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, you totally deserve that, you stupid asshole. He did. He absolutely deserved all that shit. And this is a favor, remember. Julius did him a favor. He took the heat off of Subaru. Made it look like he was so cruel. Sacrificed his career while doing this. Got a punishment for doing this. To help us, Subaru. Ow, ow. Yeah, you totally deserve that, you stupid asshole. I've had enough of this. I need to tell her about my power. Even if it costs me my life, so be it! At least for a second, she'll know my pain! Emilia! I can return by ding. Um, um, are you okay? I can return to death! <laughs> you want to return to Denny's? You, um, you're hungry? You want Denny's? I can return to death! <laughs> you, you wanna go now? You wanna, you wanna get something to eat real quick? <laughs> what? I'm just trying to help you! You're being super rude right now! I, I can't... <laughs> are you mocking me? Oh, is that it? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> this is like she's a... Perfect way to make this scene a joke, bro. Let's get in there first, this man. Never. Why? If you want to be such a massive dick about it, I'll just leave. <laughs> Fuck my life. If you don't want to meal. That part was great. That's part is really hard to watch, but the way that they handle it by making him seem like he's like mocking her. Oh yeah, you can always have me. Well, hey, I didn't know the knights had hot cat girls too. Actually, yeah. I'm a boy. No, you're fucking not. No, yeah, really, I'm I said, no, you're fucking not. So is the plot gonna kick in anytime soon? The suffering kind of plot? No. Too bad. <laughs> oh god! Jesus! <laughs> Why Petra in specific, bro? Is there room to theorycraft about how Petra's eyes are secret legendary relics from like a distant clan, and they hid Petra here, and she, I, I don't know. Or like, fucking, one of the cult members said, fuck Petra in specific, for no reason. Just brutalized her for no reason. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Fall anime 26 near bridge is just a gigantic ass. I just had a horrible dream. I was suffering, and there was a crazy guy who made Rem play Twister. <laughs> oh no, here it comes. And a whale ate Rem. Oh god, Rem. Why do you keep doing this to Rem? Uh, who's Rem? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Actually, the whale did not eat Rem, because if the whale did, people would remember Rem just like the sword scene. But true ReZero fans know that Rem was hit by a fog. The fog of... What, what, what do you call it? The fog of erasure? I think something like that. Yes, are we really doing this right now? Don't you forget about me. Please tell me it can't get any worse. Don't worry, I'm sure It'll it can't get, get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That was so abrupt. Tell me it can't get any worse. Don't worry, I'm sure it can't get any worse. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Fast. Why are you doing this to me? Cheer up, Subaru. Let me make one of the most heartfelt speeches in recent anime to make you feel better cementing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the moment. And oh, boy. Probably, if people think of ReZero, they probably think about this moment a lot, right? Like one of the most impactful moments besides like episode 15, probably episode 18 and how the I Love Amelia scene came to play, yeah. Me is best girl. Wow, I'm all better now. Also, I love you. Fuck you. I love Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mother <laughs> Beat his ass. <laughs> I love you too! Really? Yeah, no. as a friend! <laughs> Look, how about we lighten up the mood with uh, a joke? You have jokes yeah. in this fantasy world, right? Sure! Right. Knock knock! Who's there? I love... I love Emilia. Emilia! What is he even so great about her? What does she have that I do? White hair... You can't explain love, it's an irrational thing. Subaru just down bad for the half-elf, man. I don't know what to tell you, Rim. No! She can smile? And... She can smile? I'm not even mad. Maybe I should just be with someone who's not as dickless as you are. Yes! Bro, if Rem did that... Oh, Rem's own fucking happiness and closure. I would have loved that for Rem. Uh, like who? Like Felix! <laughs> Rem and Felix, bro. That would have been fun. <laughs> and what do you say? Oh, she can smile. Hold up, hold up. She hold can up, smile. Up. I'm not even mad. Maybe yeah. I should just be with someone who's not as dickless as you are. Someone who's not as dickless as you are and then says Felix. God damn, a trap, bro. Like who? Like Felix! <laughs> 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 
I wonder what I should have for dinner tonight. Also, I No! No more, okay? But I need okay. To Look, whatever you want to tell me, I promise to listen after you help me. Can it wait after that? Fine. Thank God. I do love Amelia, though. Ah! Look, I just need... Man, again, episode 18. What is the correct opinion? Remember, every one of your opinions are just opinions, but my opinions are facts. And the fact is, there is nothing that Subaru did wrong here. Just because Rem did all of that does not mean she is entitled to love. Subaru has an irrational love for Amelia that we've seen time after time because she was one of the first people to actually show up and save him in episode 1. Maybe he even related to her by saying, a girl like that that's continuously doing self-sacrifice, acting as if she's doing selfless shit, you know, is, is gonna always waste her time. That's straight up what Natsuki Subaru's you know, character is. He calls her that on that. And then... There's even like this lap pillow scene in arc 2, so I, I think that it kind of does make sense. Now, even if Rem's not a title to Subaru's love, it just feels bad that Rem just went along with it. And a lot of people have this headcanon. A lot of people are so in denial. They are just hugging their Rem body pillars while watching my reaction and give my takes and seething. They go out of their way to say, Actually, it was platonic. The I love you was actually not an I love you, and she never expected anything back. Cap, you're delusional. Rem loves Subaru. She said I love you in the most authentic, the Aishteru one way. Not even Skides, bro. The most genuine one possible. Of course, she probably thought that she would lose to Amelia, because... It, Rem likes that Subaru who's chasing after Amelia, the heroic version, right? Of course, in her heart, deep inside, she probably thought she was going to lose, but she still gave her a shot. And I bet you she wanted to hear, I love you back. But some people are so blinded and delusional. They think that Rem never expected an I love you back. It's just like, that is such fucking cap. Did the author go out and fucking say that? Did the author literally say that until Tape himself comes out and directly fucking states it and you give me a source, you're just fucking capping as much as I am. So don't go around trying to fucking correct me as if your fucking take is somehow any less capped than mine. We're all capping at the end of the day and I'm just trying to tell you what I'm seeing from the anime perspective. And then there's the other retards that straight up say, huh. The, the super rejecting Rem was justified because, don't you remember? Rem rejected Subaru! These are actual monkey retards that latch onto like the first thing that sounds good to them, right? They just immediately think about, oh, how do I prove him wrong? How, oh, I know! Rem rejected Subaru in the beginning here in the episode. Dude, so it's okay. But if you like spent five more seconds to think what happens after that, you would realize how dumb that is. Because Rem rejects Subaru's proposal to run away together and immediately goes to go on giving her headcanon, her fanfiction, about the family they would have had, how much she loved them, how much, what kind of different jobs they would get, what kind of kids they have. You don't think that's coming from a place of love? You think that Rem rejecting Subaru there somehow suddenly makes it fine because you thought Rem was being tr nasty? No! You're so stupid! Everyone just latches on to the first thing that sounds good without fucking critically thinking. And I got a bunch of monkeys throwing shit from the fucking zoo trying to tell me that their takes and opinions are somehow what fucking Tape said, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, dude. I'm watching this in the most objective way I can, and I think that my takes are pretty much grounded in reality, and you motherfuckers are capping as much as I am. For that? Fine. Thank God. I do love Amelia, though. Ah! Look, I just need your help taking down a whale. Give me one reason why I should help you. If you agree, you can be best girl. Deal! <laughs> and my fingers crossed the entire time. Now let's <laughs> kick some... It's more about Wilhelm, right? And like the mining rock, you know, fucking Roswell sharing the rights. But yeah, let's go. Motherfucking whale ass! This season on Whale Wars. This is an old meme, South Park meme, the fuck you whale sound bit. Whale Wars. We finally go, did Wilhelm. it! And I couldn't have done it without your help! Uh. Uh, who are you again? Rem. Yeah, I knew that. You forgot, didn't you? Look. <laughs> That's so fucked up, Gigguk. How you doing her this dirty? I'm gonna go kill Battle Geese now, so why don't you disappear for the rest of the season? Alright, just please don't forget. She really didn't show up in the season finale. 
And no, you dumbasses. I'm watching the original version. There is no post credit scene. We gonna figure that shit at the beginning of season two. Don't worry about it. Again, I don't remember anything that just happened, but let's kill Betel Geese. I'm Betel Geese. <laughs> no, I'm Betel Geese. No, I'm, I'm Betel Geese. Geese. Wait. Fuck! I love this run. This run, bro. It was so fucking good. Just this, the, the most heroic run of season one. I loved it. Ah! Just when we thought the suffering was over. Don't worry. The last respawn point shouldn't be too far away. <laughs> Imagine we see Appa guy. Fuck! Yeah, welcome back. I'm still a boy, by the way. That catnip? Honestly, yes, we might have suffered. But hey, we have Felix giving us a little bit of a catnip on the ear, so it's all good. Uh, welcome I'm still a boy, by the way. Stop fucking reminding me! So what exactly is the plan now? Alright, I just need to rip off an attack from another anime. Spirit gun! <laughs> Rental ia Dude! Not cool, man. Don't- Hey! It's the guy from Yu, Yu Yu Hakusho! <laughs> Not cool, man. Don't worry, Amelia. I'll save you! Hold on! Why? Why? Because I love you. Why are you doing this all for me? I don't I love you. get it! I heard Rabbit's head over heels in love with you! Yeah, she is. Honestly, this fucking <laughs> abridged Amelia asking Subaru, that's, that's honestly canon. She straight up don't know, because, like, again, it just seems like to her, every time in this perfect run, this dude just shows up out of nowhere and feels like he needs to save her. But all of that is because of the previous past runs where Amelia doesn't even fucking remember that shit. She'd do anything for you! So why are you going so far just for me? I love you. Who's the rest dickhead in the world? Don't even think about it, just say it. Ready? One, two, three. You! What? Did we just become best friends? Yes, yep. we did. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode of Anime in Minutes. If that's fucked up. That, 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 that's fucked up, Giga. You, you did Rem so dirty in this, but hey, we finally watched ReZero in eight minutes. Guys, please go give Giga a like on the video, sub to his channel if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.